The Ghost Box Mysterious Bank coming up next on What's in the Box. Hello, boils and ghouls. Welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Monster Edition of What's in the Box, where we get to open up a cool monster model kit and show you the guts of what's in the box. And tonight we're going to be looking at the Ghost Box. Now, I do have a bunch of these in the store for sale. This is not one of my own personal collection models that I could order for you. These actually exist in my store. There is this ghost box. There is the one with the tarantula. The skeleton hand. And the monster hand, the zombie hand. Now these models are essentially the same. The only thing that changes with them are the hand and the box, but the rest is the same. So let's go back to our original box, which was this one, and I will open it up and show you what's in the box. Welcome back, Monster Model Kit fans, as we unbox another chilling model kit. Today we're going to look at our ghost box. And this is by Airy, a Japanese company. And now, here's our instruction sheet to begin the Terra with. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, here's the instruction sheet. And as you can see, there are a lot of mechanical parts in this. This is a operating bank. And it is fairly easy to follow what's going on here. And see, you can hit this gear in with all your might with a hammer. No, <laughs> just a, some small tapping will do. But yes, you can see all these different things, worm gears and metal clips for batteries. It takes a single AA battery. And it is quite a cool little model. And of course, here's how it operates. So, you slide out that little bottom piece, you put a coin there, and then the skull, the bat, the claw, whatever it is that you decided to get, will pop out and grab the coin and bring it inside the box. It's a very simplistic. Now let's see what this looks like when it's in plastic. So we bring back our box here. And as you can tell, just zoom in a little. And don't be afraid, we're only zooming in. Okay, so you get these stickers, and they are paper stickers with a gluey back. And a couple of numbers in skull, skull and crossbones, as well as a ghost box name. These kits are quite old. They come from about the 1990s. A little picture, of course, of the mysterious coin bank. And we start off with the actual bank box itself. As you can see, a nice good attempt at wood grain which of course is plastic wood grain, and you get this little fake lock molded onto the box. And of course the back end of the box. One day I want to build one of these for our videos, of course, so you can see how it works. And for the store, so if somebody gives me some change, you know, it'll be a fun way to, to collect it. So there's our skull head, and as you can see it's got to be painted over with some white and some skull paint. Typically you could use Citadel paint from the Games Workshop. They have a nice technique on painting bone. Okay, then we have the platforms, which would be at the front of the box. Of course, like that. And this is the door that swings out of the way for the front of the box. And now we get into the actual parts the actuating parts. So here's that box that has the gears inside and of course the swivel for the head to pop out of. This is the cover for the battery box. And this is the bottom plate for the box. It's fairly simple. Then if we go back to this box, the inside of the box of course, these are all the electrical components. They are stapled into the box, so I won't really be able to pull them out too well, unless I do that. 
So there's the motor and the electrical components in the bag. And another little piece for the box. Probably the switch. And there's our gears. So as you can see, these are quite simplistic and very terrifying. <laughs> And that will bring us to the conclusion of our examination of the Ghost Box by Ari. Well, I hope you weren't too terrified after seeing what was in the box. <laughs> but at any rate, if you would like to contribute to our channel and watch more of these videos, please go to our YouTube homepage and look for the PayPal icon. It is in underneath my banner in that little column there. You'll see a bunch of that different things. And if you would like to see some of the other cool videos in this series, please click here, click here, and click down here if you dare. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us right over here and click that notification bell so that you get the announcement that we um, opened up another thing from the Creepy Vault. And until next time, pleasant dreams. <laughs>